here with Mr. Pat Hartness. He's given us a few minutes of his time and he's going to talk to us. Okay, Gary's asked me to say a few words. Triple Trees and its 30th anniversary. It's Thursday afternoon and we're midway through. We've had a little rain this week, but I don't think it's stamping many people's spirits. But it's been a fun time. Triple Tree now is in a foundation. The foundation means that when I conk out in Triple Tree with our board of directors, we'll continue to go on. And we look forward to keeping the youth and, and everyone who's learned to love to come here to spend a week and have a good time. The aircraft that you see right over my uh, right shoulder is an extra 330. When I turned 70 years of age, I felt like I needed uh, to give me this for my birthday. So here it is. It's a beautiful little airplane. It has a it has a Lacombe 580 cubic engine engine in it, and it's very powerful. But it won't do what our models will do. It won't stand on its tail, and you can't dip it in the lake. And if we could, I would be the last person on earth to do it. I try to fly this very conservatively and have a good time and I do take passengers up and it's quite a ride and it's it's powerful and a lot of fun. But come to Triple Tree, if you've never been here, we'd like for you to experience the airplane extravaganza of your lifetime. Please come. Are you running close to the same setup that Matt Chapman's running? I think he has a 580 also. Right. And he's probably a lot lighter than we are with the extra 330. The 330 was put together with a nice um, interior of leather. It has avionics so you can fly it anywhere in the United States. And it's really not, it's not been kept as light as it could possibly be, like a lot of the aerobatic airplanes. It's set up a little bit more as a touring airplane. And it has the Red Bull wing on it, which makes it 30 knots faster than the extra 300 which has a fully symmetrical one. What's the top speed of the plane in level flight? It's redlined at 225 knots. That's 250 miles an hour. Now, are you, are you learning aerobatics now, or did you just, what is your extent of any aerobatic flight? When I bought did? the airplane, they said get 40 hours on it, and then get very comfortable, do aerobatics, but just go to 5,000 feet. And I have a steerman that I've done snap rolls, loops, and spins and um, stall turns. So that's about the extent of what I'm doing. And I go to 5,000 feet, but I am gonna take some lessons, not for low level flying, but just to understand more of the aerodynamics of the extra 330. It is a 10 plus G airplane, positive and negative. negative. It has smoke, it has the fuel injected engine with inverted system. So it's ready to go. And when the man delivered it from down in Florida, guy named Doug Veda. He put quite an air show on here and I'm impressed with his capability, but I'm not trying to exploit what its potential is until I'm ready. And then at that point, it's my touring airplane. It's not aerobatic for me. All right. Well, thank you for your time, Pat. Yes, sir.